Okay, so today's special menu is curry cabbage in tuna. Yes, you heard it right. We're looking at curry cabbage in tuna. Now come along in this video if you have never had this before. And let me show you how it's done. First, you're going to cut up your cabbage and your vegetables along with it. So we have cabbage, we have sweet pepper, we have pumpkin, and we have carrots. I choose just to use the green bell pepper because the pumpkin already have color and the carrot have color. So I didn't go with the other color bell peppers but you can do that if it's your preference to use the color green peppers you can do that too so we're gonna cut up our vegetables and there's no special way to cut up your cabbage you can cut it small like you're doing um toss salad cut it up big you can cut it up big too so it doesn't matter And you're gonna get your coconut oil and after I add my coconut oil I'm going to um with carb powder just to burn the oil a bit and I'm gonna add some minced garlic to the curry and just get a little flavor I so add some minced garlic there. It was giving me a little bit of problem to pull. <laughs> so add your minced garlic, and then you're gonna go in with your cabbage. I think at one point my my pot made a little small like I should have used a bigger pot. But it ended up working. It did end up working.
I start to add it sooner and I'm using this darkest brand which is wild card so you know it's a very very premium and tastes like real fish so I'm going in opening the can it's made in water it's stored in water so I'm gonna throw off the water and then we're gonna throw it in the pot. Now, while you put it in the pot, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and begin to season the pot. Uh, here, look right here, see my water bottle, and I'm gonna add some food. So, we're gonna have this meal today with food. We're not looking after no rice today. So I went in with some more than seasoned salt. It's like an all-purpose season. And also went in with some garlic powder. And stir that to add flavor. To let the tuna in sync with the cabbage. And I'll bring up that curry flavor. Also gonna go in with some cayenne pepper because you still want it to have a little spice to it, you know. Especially you know once you have fish, you have to add a little pepper to it. Put a little more water. And I'll just uh, continue with the steaming process. I'm gonna add the food now, my produce. So we're having pumpkin, we're having sweet potato, we're having um, Irish potato, and after which I'm gonna add a few dumplings in it. <laughs> 